Hello and welcome. Today we're going to look at a Telefunken M221A tube condenser microphone, also known as a Sheps 221A. Comes with a little case. This microphone body is packed pretty much with a tube, some resistors, capacitors, the skeleton, some wiring. It's it's really filled up in there. Um, it's got a six pin adapter on the back for a cable. A little phase ring we'll talk a little bit more about later. This sliding switch that sets the capsule between cardioid and omnidirectional pattern. And uh, pretty clean. This is the power supply. Nice patina on it for its age. The input and output on the back. Nice leather handle on top. And you see this little window. This is the voltage selector. That's what I'm working on this afternoon. It's got a 220 volt or 110 volt selector inside. And you can kind of see the two screws with a little strip of metal between. That's what I'm going to change. So I'll take off the case. Nice and careful. Pretty clean inside. Looks like it has probably been cleaned up, but it's it's in great shape inside. Um, obviously, it's had a cap job. All the caps have been replaced. These are newer electrolytic capacitors. Original rectifier and uh, and resistors, though it looks like mostly original wiring too, which is nice. I believe that's an updated three-prong IEC connector. So here's what I'm going to change today. This is the voltage selector. It's three screws and a little strip of metal that goes between the screws. Before doing this, I always discharge the capacitors, make sure everything's unplugged. And I just need to unscrew these three screws and set that little strip of metal between the 110 voltage poles. So I'm going to close up the 220 volt. And it won't actually swing up over that screw, so I'm going to have to completely take out that 110 volt screw. So swing up the little hook. And then tighten everything up. I'll just make sure one last time everything's nice and tight. All right, so in addition to that, I always like to clean tube pins whenever I get inside tube gear. So I'll take out this rectifier tube. These seven pin tubes tend to be a little finicky coming out so don't break your gear I use a strong contact cleaner solution and a cotton swab applicator to really clean up two pins and these pins were quite dirty I also like to use the same contact cleaner solution on the tube socket and I usually just pull a little bit of the cotton tight into a little spiral inside the tube socket contacts.
I like to also clean the inputs and outputs of pretty much all the gear that I ever service. Again, you'll be really surprised at how dirty all the pins are on a piece of gear. It's hard to get into these little sockets without a small toothpick or something, so I like to at least just get a little bit of contact cleaner inside there. I'll go ahead and put the case back on. Set these screws in. Okay. So now I want to also clean the pins on the output of the microphone. Again, pins are very dirty. I think this is a very really cool mic body and capsule design. Okay, I'm gonna plug in the cable. Plug in the cable to the microphone. Put that phase ring back on. Set it in its box. Plug in the IEC and power. I think this is one of the coolest indicator lights on any old piece of tube gear. Okay, so I've got it warmed up and I'd like to give you an idea of what this thing sounds like. I've got the phase ring back on and I'm going to play a little with my trusty Yamaha Dreadnought. These mics excel on stringed instruments, so I'm excited to hear how it sounds. now with the phase ring off. That's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more.